Cause even in the darkness, even in the darkest night, cause even in the darkness, I can see the light. And so can Yulia Samoilova. She's sitting on top of a mountain and we need to talk about it. Are you ready? Let's do this. Russia's Eurovision 2018 act is a visual feast. There is a lot going on here, and at the center of all of it is Yulia Samoylova on a raised mountain, a raised platform dressed to look like a mountain, rather. On this platform, they project all sorts of images, the side of a mountain, waterfalls, I think there's even some flora. It is really quite striking, very beautiful. It's a dark scene, but in the middle is this, I almost want to say volcanic mountain, and at the top, it is erupting with Yulia. They've made the creative decision to cover her wheelchair. One could argue that is so people will focus on her voice and her artistry as opposed to her disability. Others might take the opposite view saying, oh, what are they trying to hide? I think no matter what Yulia did, she would get some shtick. This is just the nature of Eurovision. And so, I don't know, I feel like that's not even an issue. It's just, that's open to interpretation. They make their creative decisions and who am I to question? I ain't gonna question. I will say this, she sounded great in the verses when she was on yeah. her own. I was like, wow, the vulnerability and frailty of her voice works really well here. But then when the backing vocals come in, it really didn't work. It sounded like shrieking, and it's hard to know, is that her missing the high note? Is it the backing vocalist being off? It's really hard to know. I just know that I hope they work on it because visually they have something very nice to work with. They've just got to improve those vocals or they're not going to the final. Visually, they don't, it's horrible. Oh, no! because <laughs> no, like, okay, so everybody has seen the music video, so they've tried to recreate that, and they were sitting on top of a mound. They're projecting onto it, but it's very faint. You can see colors, but like, it's hard to distinguish anything in particular. Then their faces, this isn't meant to be a dark song, like I've complained about Bulgaria mm. or Armenia being dark, but that's intentionally dark, whereas this is very shady and shadowy, which I don't think it's meant to be because the music video is very bright and hopeful, and so you can't really see her face. And then, you were saying that she's centered attention, at mo times it feels like she's periphery, she's mm. on the peripheral, because they're... There's two dancers. If you remember Azerbaijan from 2015, they're doing their kind of interpretive dance similar to that. And towards the end, they're f the center of the mm. of the camera shot, and everything is re is revolving around these dancers. And Yulia is like a little speck in the distance on the horizon, and yeah. you just see the mound and just a little shiny circle that is her head, but you can't make it out. It's her. It, the staging is just a mess. <laughs> okay, I do take your point. She should be more in focus, definitely. I think, Chris, you actually did some research into this. Yeah, so at the end, in the about two minutes in, um, it sort of starts to pan out. There is 43 seconds between that, like, between close ups of Yulia. There are 43 seconds where it's literally either the dancers are the main attention or it's a massive audience shot. She is a speck. Nearly a third of the song. Yeah, it's. it's Honestly, it's really offensive, I think, to Yulia more than anything else because she actually sounds really good in the verses. Um, and then whatever happens in the chorus, I do not understand because honestly, it sounds worse than I do right now. Like, yeah. it's really, really off putting and it's very, it's, it's upsetting because she's really worked hard at those verses and that was really good. And then I don't know what happens. The dancers, at least with Hour of the Wolf, they were kind of doing like an animalistic thing. I won't break that interpreted dance or whatever that was made no sense. At one point, like the male dancer throws his face into the female dancer's boobs, it seems like at one point uh, towards the end. It really is just. It's awful. The, it's, yeah. You know what? The things they've been through, they're pushing through, they're holding on, they're spinning, but they're not spinning out of control. I think it's some kind of analogy about not breaking and surviving tumult, or at least that's how I'm going to spin this. I think that the visual elements are messy, that Julia should be in more focus, but I still love that mountain, y'all. That mountain, that projection is really quite stunning. It's it, not. It is. No, no compare, this compare blows. That with Alina. Oh, Alina Shmolina, 
You're right, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's hard. I really want to defend this act because I feel such a connection with Yulia on a lot of levels, but it's increasingly <laughs> difficult because the blending of voices just was mm -hmm. not there. I will say this. It may not be as nice as Alina's projection dress, but this is a very novel artistic approach, you know, projecting a mountain into the center of a Eurovision stage. If they can tweak, refine, maybe change up the dancing, show Yulia more, improve the vocals, make it brighter. This could go to the final, but that's a tall order. That's a lot of things that need to happen before the semifinal. Granted, they still have the second rehearsal and Russia is not complacent. They will tweak and amend. So I wouldn't write this off yet, but I would say it's looking less likely. Because I think a big thing is that Russia's friends are mostly in semifinal one. Moldova are reliable. The Ukrainian public are reliable, the Ukrainian yeah. jury won't be. No. The West, Western countries aren't particularly fond of Russia at the moment, so no. I can't see them getting in droves behind it. And it's not like if it was Sergei Lazarev or Polina Gagarina, people could look beyond it and look beyond politics because there was a quality song behind it, there was a quality stage show, there was a quality performance. Yeah. We're lacking all those elements. Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be about politics, but that, we can't deny that that is a factor here with Russia. Um, I would say, like, the mountain works at times. Like, we were looking, we are like, oh, is she rising up? Because the projection kind of made it look like yeah. there was some clever things in there, but it very much feels like... I mean, Yulia herself said she didn't understand the music video, yeah. and then she's been placed in it, literally on the stage. I feel sorry for her because... I do think it was her dream to do Eurovision or to be on a big stage mm. like this and at the moment it's being ruined and I don't think it's her fault. Final point, I think that the ending should be her, the yeah. mountain, because that is the most visually arresting feature, not the dancers. And so if they make it more about her, that's the strength of this. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, people will know that she's in a wheelchair. People will say that in the introduction, the commentators in various countries. And frankly, that is relevant because that fits with the song, the message of perseverance and the things she's been through. Yeah. And she looks really good as well. She oh, has yeah. like her um, gl glitter makeup on as well. So that, you know, that, we've seen that on her Instagram and it looks really good. Yeah. So make it more, make her the focus yeah. she's got an amazing story so focus on her absolutely jewel in the crown of that mountain any other thoughts Porik? i don't think so i think we just wrap it up yes yeah. basi baba shoya that is what we think what do you think are you excited to see the entirety of her performance do you want there to be more of the mountain and what do you think of these dancers spinning around let us know here on Weebie blogs make sure to leave a like and subscribe turn on the notifications and maybe pop by the live stream <laughs> yeah we'll see you later bye, bye.